Special thanks to Toy Dojo for sponsoring this video. You can find this figure and more at toydojo.com. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'll be reviewing this. This is New Age David, AKA Legend Scale Optimus Prime. And here he is in package. And I gotta be honest, the box doesn't look that great. The box art, the design, I wish it was a little bit better. Um, this logo actually reminds me of the GoBots logo for some reason. And here's the top of the box and the side and the back here. You can see he's fighting Megatron. Okay, let's get David out of the box. Here's New Age David out of the package. He comes with his instruction sheet. Now it's a very large instruction sheet, but it is one-sided. Uh, most of the instructions has to do with the cab section, um, but you can see here, all very nicely illustrated. It comes with some hands. This one is loose, and you can see a little bit of articulation here. These are on a sprue, and you can see there's no articulation as they're just pointing. You can simply twist them to pop them off. He comes with an energy axe that also can be popped in like a hand. His weapon, some nice silver paint apps here. Roller, molded in this gray plastic, a little red paint here. His trailer, now out of the package, these stands come folded in like so. And David himself, AKA Optimus Prime, the cab section of this uh, set in very nice looking cab mode. Now it's a bit different than the Ultra Magnus that we got earlier, along with the Delta Magnus and the two repaints of the cab section, uh, Shattered Glass Optimus Prime and Nemesis Prime. The biggest difference is the back section of the cab, which becomes the lower half of his body, uh, engineered a lot differently than the others. Here we have the cab section of Delta Magnus, and right away you can see a big difference in the back. Optimus Prime is a lot longer, and basically the engineering for the whole back section is different. But other than that, the main cab section though is pretty much the same, with one exception is here, this part. You can see this part is different and transforms differently. And that's mainly to give him the more of an Optimus Prime look from the back. Now, personally, I actually like the back section of Delta Magnus's cab here. Uh, when compared to Optimus Prime, it seems a lot more cleaner than uh, Optimus. But uh, in robot mode, when we get to there, I actually like this version better. So a little conflicted there. Just like Delta Magnus and Ultra Magnus, you can open the doors. You can see Prime's hand kind of becomes the, the seats in the cab. Pretty nice finish in cab mode. I would have preferred that they had the silver stripe here, but I guess this is more for cartoon accuracy. Hey, let's take a look at the trailer here. You can open it up, the doors here, like so. And there is a little ramp, but you're gonna have to split the trailer to flip the ramp out. I guess you could leave it like this. I don't know. Can it close? Let's try. Now, I think you're going to have to split it because uh, it's kind of hard to really... Yeah, I guess you could. You can get your nail in there. Now, your standard Autobot cars cannot fit inside unless you put it sideways like so. But most mini vehicles should be able to fit inside. Beachcomber is an exception because he is wider than the other mini vehicles. You can see he's just as wide as Blue Streak here. All right, let's get the trailer into base mode by flipping this out and the feet here and splitting the cab. And there you go. Let's raise this up. And you have the battle station mode or base mode for Prime's trailer. This top piece has a 
quite a bit of articulation since it's not a ball joint as well as this part and you can see this part just pops out i guess you can put a tiny little figure would have been nice to have some painted detail on the inside because it is kind of plain another thing that would have been nice in the original g1 toy there was some blue parts here and here and uh, without them it kind of looked a little bit plain but again i think this is going for cartoon accuracy now opened up you can somewhat fit an autobot vehicle again the mini vehicles seem to look a lot better now roller can simply stay here he doesn't have any place to really plug into to keep him in place but uh, he does fit inside the battle station very well you do have the option to use roller to tow prime's trailer just by flipping this part up you reveal a little port here let's collapse this trailer with that port revealed, you can simply tow Prime's trailer like so. Hey, okay, let's get Roller and the trailer out of the way and onto the main event. Now to combine the trailer with Prime, you do have to separate the legs back here and lock it back in. And the trailer is attached. And I think it looks really good I and mean, rolls very nicely and he can turn back and forth like so. So there's a lot of clearance uh, being that the trailer is pushed back a bit further for Optimus Prime here. And for some size comparisons in vehicle mode, here is New Age David next to, New Age Delta Magnus, Mech Fan Toys Inferno, New Age Blue Streak, and New Age Beachcomber. Okay, let's get New Age David transformed into robot mode. Here is New Age David in robot mode, and let's take a closer look at him here. I gotta say, I love the transformation of this figure. It is complex, but it is not frustrating, which to me is a very good balance. Um, I, I like the outcome of, of robot mode. It looks like a really small MP44 without the frustrating transformation. Uh, let's put his gun in his hand here just to complete the look and there you go man he looks like he just came out of the tv screen um the back again i said uh this part is a little bit different from ultra magnus just to give him that more optimus prime look from the back and very cool looking now i know some folks don't like the engineering on how this becomes the chest because you get that double chest but I don't know I think it works fine at this scale it's not as noticeable to the naked eye um, opposed to looking at close up on camera like this but again for me that is not really a negative with this figure I think it looks very nice you can open up his chest here to reveal the matrix which can come out but uh it's uh if you have big fingers it's going to be a little bit hard so i'm going to use his gun here as a little prying tool just to pop it out well, that flew pretty far good thing it hit the phone but yeah you have this tiny little matrix here 
nicely painted. Let's put it back. I think the only negative for me right now with my copy, this arm is a little bit loose here, so it tends to come out. I wish they designed some kind of locking mechanism that it snaps together. Um, this one is a lot tighter, so I don't have that issue, but uh, this one definitely is a lot more looser than the other arm. Again, I love the way the leg transforms. I think it's pretty smart, and the outcome you get is pretty nice and clean. Now his hands can pop out if you want to change them out. You can see he does have his energy axe that you can put in. Or if you want to have him point with one of his hands, you can. So having extra hands is a nice little option there. And he does have this other hand which does have a little bit of articulation on the wrist where he can move like so. Moving on to articulation of the figure, the head is on a ball joint and can rotate 360 and go up and down. The arm can rotate 360, can lift up at the shoulder this much, can rotate at the elbow 360, can bend at the elbow this much, and he can rotate at the wrist 360. He can rotate at the waist 360. He does have somewhat of an ab crunch, but I don't know, that's mainly due to transformation. If you lift up the side panels here, he can do the splits. He can kick this far up. If you lift his butt panel, he can kick this far back. He can rotate at the thigh 360. He can bend at the knee this much. And he has ankle tilt and can go back and forth because it is on a little ball joint. And for some size comparisons, here is New Age David next to McFan Toys Grapple, New Age Blue Streak, New Age Megatron, New Age Mirage, and New Age Beachcomber. So my final thoughts on New Age David, aka Optimus Prime. Overall, very pleased with this figure. If you saw my New Age Ultra Magnus review, you'll know that I'm really impressed with the cab section. And this, while very similar, just takes it a little bit further with the, the legs of the robot. Um, now, in vehicle mode, I still think the cab section for Ultra Magnus looks a lot cleaner than uh, Prime, but uh, in robot mode, I think um, I like how they did the engineering for the legs a lot better. I also like the changes they did to the back to give it the more cartoon look of Optimus Prime. So those little touches there are really nice to uh, make Optimus Prime stand out. So he's really just not a repaint of the Ultra Magnus mold. Personally, I'm very excited with what New Age is bringing this year. I know they have Hound planned, and um, I believe they're redoing Ironhide and Ratchet. And um, I think their Stunticons will probably be starting to be released this year, hopefully. So very much looking forward to that. Anyway, that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Follow us on social media and check out our Discord. Links in the description below.